Hi there. Back already? Right, well, sit down. As you know, me and Nancy have been helping superfan Ed Shearling set up a band. He's just played the gang his first track. It's certainly, well, different. Bonjour. This is our new track. Un, deux, trois, quatre. Merci à la Merci. Wow. You can really hear the ducks, can't you? It's, well, um, unique. Thanks, Nancy. I've got a question, though. What? Whether using ducks as backing singers is such a good idea? I mean, how do they even hold a microphone? Uh, no. My question was about logos. It says in the musical box that you gave me that we can have a good idea to create a band logo. Well, what's a logo? A logo is just a unique image which represents something. It helps make it easy to tell different companies and organisations apart. Check these out. Can you tell me the company name just by the logo? What about this one that's shaped like an apple? Or how about this panda? That one's apple, of course. And the panda is the World Wildlife Fund. Easy. Now, it's not like you have to have a logo. Beethoven and Mozart didn't have one as far as I remember. But to make it as a star today, it can really help if you do. Right, let's get the musical box open and find out more. Logos are a sign that represents a company or an organisation, and that includes pop bands. Sometimes they're just a name, often written in a certain style or colour. Other times they may be a picture or a pattern. Hey, Justin Bieber's got a great logo. You can see it in all his vlogs. I could use that one. No! Even though Justin Bieber is, well, amazing, you can't use his logo. That's not allowed. It has to be original, like moi. And you want people to remember you, right? You don't want people getting you mixed up with Justin Bieber. I don't know. He's very cool. Logos are a great way to help you and your band stick in people's memories. When they see the logo, they'll be thinking of you and no one else. It's also a practical way to help people identify merchandise which comes from your band, whether that's music and videos or promotional stuff like T-shirts and mugs. So, how do I come up with one? I'm rubbish at drawing. Well, you can come up with some ideas using pens or pencils, felt tips, paint or even a computer art program. Just make it unique and easy for people to understand. And not a great squiggly mess. Let's hope the ducks are a lot better art than I am. How are they even going to hold a pen? <laughs> 30 minutes later and Ed had a design for his logo. Hey guys, look. I did what you said and we had a go at making a logo. What do you think? Wow! That's brilliant! Who knew ducks were so talented? So, job done? Not quite yet. You have to register your logo as a trademark so that other people can't use it without your permission. Yes, like that moth-eaten moggy Kitty Perry did. remember when she tried to use our logo on tickets to get people to go to her concert? Well, because we'd registered the logo, she didn't get away with it. In fact, she got into a lot of trouble. Register? Trademark? I'm not sure I understand. Can you explain what that all means, Big Joe? Trademarking is a way to connect your logo with your property, whether that's a video, book or your songs. Registering it is the process of filling out the forms to make it all official. So how do I register my logo then? You just go on the internet and ask those people at the intellectual property office to register it. You need to pay a small fee but it's worth it. I'll show you where. You have to upload lots of clear pictures of the logo design with details about the colours used. And then all set. Now you can use your logo wherever you like. That's a good point. Where am I going to use it? Everywhere. On your website, the CD, on posters, on lunch boxes, billboards, on a massive banner on the back of a plane. Yeah, that cost us an arm and a leg, that did. I don't think we'll be doing that again. <laughs> so, that's how Ed came up with his logo. Quite impressed I was. Why don't you have a go at designing a logo for your band? You can use pens, pencils, or even a computer program. Get creative and have fun. Try to make it totally unique so that it can't be mixed up with anyone else's. Nancy's Musical Box, with support from the Intellectual Property Office.